How about that glowing orange light streaking the sky last night? And you were lucky enough to see it, and the consensus was it was a meteor, and the same light was seen in Chandler, San Diego, L.A., Las Vegas, all over the West. News for Sandy Rathman went looking for answers. Since the beginning of time, man has been looking up, and last night it really paid off. We both saw a bright flash and then uh, we're able to look up and it flashed again, and then it dimmed down and, and flashed a third time. Devin Schrader and his wife were in their car. To be that bright, it at least had to be the size of a basketball, probably more. Um, most meteors that people see and consider shooting stars are only about the size of a grain of sand. Schrader is a planetary scientist at the U of A, an expert in meteors. Do you ever wish it was an extraterrestrial? I think this is better, <laughs> to be honest with you. It kind of is right to terrestrial. It's not from Earth. Um, it tells us about where we came from, how our solar system formed. It's a reminder that there's a solar system out there and occasionally decides to touch the Earth by throwing a rock at us or something like that. Tucson and Michael Farmer hunts meteorites. He told me he hopes to find pieces of the rock. I have people working for me that are trying to analyze some of the videotapes and the eyewitness reports to narrow down a possible fall location. I'm obsessed with, you know, there's nothing like holding something from outer space, you know. I mean, this thing four days ago would have been on the other side of the moon. Folks I talked to today estimate that rock that went flying through the sky last night, four and a half billion years old. At the University of Arizona, Sandy Rathbun News for Tucson. Wow. Excitement. <laughs>